Hello again, people of the internet. Welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Last time, I what? Uh, huh? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, uh, come this way. Come hither. Uh, last time I did all the training, and this time, I guess I will be taking on the Shaker. What? Come on. Hey, look. I'm right here. Look. Come on. Come on. Hey, do I gotta push you? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Follow me. I want to. I want to fight in this open area. Come on, come on. Yep, yep. Hey, buddy. Not you again. Gonna try your luck chasing me down for cash? Certain board is great, isn't it? There's so much to do. Getting your money's gone before. Uh, your money's gone before you know it. So yeah, give me yours. After I give you a beating, friend. All I'm giving you is a beating, friend. Get lost. If you get something, it went easy on you last time. Things are be different today. That's so. Well, come on then. Show me what you got. I'll flatten you like a pancake. Yeah, all right. We'll see about that. Okay, yeah. Uh, he has a lot more health, actually. So this is gonna be a long fight. Uh-oh. I'm not gonna press my luck too much. Well, at least I hit him as well. Owie. I'm okay. Let me just uh, get some of this. Uh, well, that didn't do a lot. Uh, does blocking do much against him? I, you know, I should probably try. Okay, blocking works. Good to know. It doesn't work when I'm in the middle of an attack, though, so that's, that's fair. Also doesn't work if I'm facing the other direction. Makes sense. Oh, I thought that would have been enough time to get out of that animation, but I guess not. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do this. And hey, that can give me another. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Okay. Get up, get up, please. Please get up, okay. I'm trying to do the heat thing, and for fuck's sake, fine. I guess I just won't do it. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! I gotta be, like, pixel perfect or something! Jeez. There we go. That's harder than it should be. And it did not do as much damage as I would have liked. Okay, well, that's fair. I was at an angle. I'm good for now. I'm good. Okay, 
now. Okay, now get up. Please get up. Now I will take that. Uh, yes. This should do him in. Right? Oh, thank god. You were kidding me about going easy on me last time. This was something else. Of course, you still could beat me. <laughs> You're one hell of a strong bastard. That makes me want to take your money even more. Alright, next time I run out of money, I'll put you right at the top of my guys to shake down list. The hell? You're the, be the hero of Sotenbori. If I get cash of you, I'll leave the other defenseless citizens alone. Good deal, right? I don't know. It seems like a pretty sh shitty deal to me. Sotenbori is more fun since I met you. You know that? I'll be seeing you again. Cool. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, well. At least I can do this. Ooh. What does that mean? Can I can I use poles now? What? Okay, I think I get it. Basically, there's allowed it so I can unlock more things. Okay. I can't go for any of the 50,000, but let's see. Uh, I don't need that, really. Sure. What does that mean? Adjust. Grab an LB. Okay. And what's this one? Taunt. How often am I going to be taunted? How often am I going to be doing this? Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this over here? All right, the insight. Yeah, fine, I guess I'll do the insight. All right. Now then, what's this girl want? Which one is it now? Ah! Daddy, you scared me. <laughs> you really got an eye for these dolls, don't you? It's just, the pink bunchan looks really pretty. Pretty or not, I don't... I gotta tell you how dangerous this area is, you get it? You're not looking for trouble, are you? No, I'm sorry. Here we go again. A pink bunchan, eh? Uh, I'll see if I can get her one. I don't actually have one of those, so I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, hello? Oh, thank you? Anyway, a pink, what now? Bunchan. Oh, pink, what? Oh, I think I know what it is. It's probably that squishy thing. Uh oh. That's not gonna get it. Or is it? <gasps> or. Uh, no, it's not. A slippery little bastard, that's that's for sure.
But I think I got it. Oh, hell yeah. That... That wasn't it. Then... And what I... What, what am I looking for? Uh oh. Well, I might as well get this one while I'm at it. Cause who knows, maybe it'll be part of her future quest. Well, that's not good. What did I get? Oh wait, that is what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I was worried there for a second. Alright. Here you go. Here you go. A bouncy little Bunchan. Wow, a real pink Bunchan! Thank you so much! Say, how come you like these all so much? Oh, I, I just... I'm just all alone when I went home. Having my squirrels in around feels like I have friends over. That's why dolls are the best. Yeah, that's nice. And also, hits a bit close to home there. And now Bunchan gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm going to take care of uh, such good care of them. Yeah, yeah. Now off you go. Back to your mom. Okay. Bye, bye. Maybe now that tea party's complete, I always prefer to hang around here anymore. I hope. And it looks like there will be another reason, considering it's not complete yet. What do I gotta do to make her spawn? <laughs> For lack of a better term. Uh, hello? What am I gonna do? Oh, what to do? Y you You! Sorry. Excuse me? Huh? Er, um... Well, the thing is... You want something for me, don't you? Well, let's hear it then. Yes, what I'm trying to say is, uh, um, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I have a favor to ask. C can't you please be my boyfriend? Wait. You say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? What? Just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean, like, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. B boyfriend? Right, okay. Back it up a stick, step, or six. What the heck's this lady's little lady? What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be your man? Every girl I meet these days seem makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she's got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't even think you've won, little lady. Uh, well, mm, that probably won't give her the right idea. That's not good either. This is the only one that seems appropriate. What do you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What? You can't just expect me to a man to jump straight to the girl girlfriend step. Gotta be more natural, you know. Oh darn it! I let out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you pre to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me. Pretend. Hi. Yes. You see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors that he arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up, and I told him, I already have a boyfriend, so back off. And so I told my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of a knife. How did you describe me perfectly? Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. But the... Then Dad started saying, I have to see this boyfriend if it's worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill. So you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad? Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. All right, you don't got to be an asshole about it. 
If Dad finds out I really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage. I don't really have a boyfriend. He'll force me into an arranged marriage with some man I don't even know. Please, nobody else knows it. Nobody else looks anything like you. You, could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Ah, uh, this girl's in a pickle, all right. Would want to marry some guy she doesn't even know, and then spending the rest of her life with him. Fine, you paint yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is Co. Coca, like. Like chocolate? Coca? Coco? Coca? Please call me Coco Chan. It is like chocolate, okay. Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. I mean, obviously spelled different, but. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then, Majima san, I will address you as Goro Chan. Goro Chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make it. Sound as natural as we have to make it this believable. Uh, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like right now. Okay. Huh? I get ex I'm I I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're going to meet you over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco John. Make it so we meet, like shake hands, then let me go, why don't you? Big bang boom. Oh no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro Chan. Get a move on. <sighs> Damn, I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. So, so, Goro-chan, this is where we meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend, and don't anger him. You got it, but what's this all about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's a good father, as, as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it is tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, forget this guy. I'll arrange your next date, so let's avoid that. No problem, Mo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You've, you're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? Uh... What was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you got it memorized? Well, I ain't exactly making this a walk in a park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going on drives and watching movies. And you love omelet rice that I make, okay? Ugh, I'll give him my best shot. There he is. Dad, over here. So, this is Koko Chan's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he's going to be pretty buttoned up. Goro Chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Koka's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is my. The, and this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting this girl's dad for the first time is super important for a novel couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role, pr role properly. No different than that, the grand, right? The first impression is key. What do I open with? I mean, the only only the first one seems to be even feasible because everything else will just like like just jumping straight to father. That's a no go, and that's a com this is a complete misnomer, mis mi mi misnomer, mis whatever. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima-kun, was it? I understand that my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. 
Koka-san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima-kun. That's right, Dad. Girl chans not like those other stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectable type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall, yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura uh, not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I really am quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, uh, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> well, they do seem to be on good terms. And her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Oh yes, Majima Kun. Koka may have mentioned it already, but what kind of line of work are you in, Gin? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Koka mentioned that in the backstory she gave me. I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes. That's right. I heard you were a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect a dentist at all, to be frank. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to Goro-chan. Whew. I'm just glad I remembered what Koko-chan told me in that hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima kun Yes? I was wondering, how'd you come to meet Koka? Oh, well, that's... Uh... I didn't ask you. I asked Majima kun But, but... Tell me, Majima kun how did you two get to know each other? What the... He's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? Gotta explain how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make me... Wait, make him more suspicious. We happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, Koko did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes. Like I said, Koko-chan just happened to sit next to me, and that flick was a real tear jerker, tear jerker, so I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Goro-chan. I can't believe you came up with such- I mean, remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. Well, what for? What a fortuitous, fortuitous meeting, then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Goro-chan is a proper and decent man. There. I wove in Coco chans backstory and came up with a tale that's rings true enough. Majima kun I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? D dad Why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Coco, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, that's... Why, I would give my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... That's why I need to ask, Majima kun What about Koka do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. <sighs> I get, uh, he's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. I fell in love with how great her, the omelet rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But, Majima kun if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelet rice you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Dad. Damn it. Tap it into Koku chans backstory backfired. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Yeah, I honestly thought that might be the case, but I'd try for it anyway. Well. Damn. I want to retry. Uh, sure, honey, don't fall in. Wait a second. With her powder in her nose, it's down to me and just, just being her old man. Damn, awkward. Macho Bakun. Yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? Her lie? I, I mean, at this point. Y you knew all along? 
guess the jig is up. <laughs> of course. I could see right through the two of you from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could just tell by the way my daughter was acting. It wasn't her father all for... I wasn't her father after all these years for nothing. And why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Coco is so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all these suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well, but no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I've been overly protective of her. I can see that now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday, my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend home to meet me. And I thought this might be a good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Bah. It seems like I ain't... Still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone I, who knew it from the start. But, I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco-chan pulled the stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah, pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove that she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Coco John. So, listen, your dad actually knew Majima Kun. Yes? Koka, you've done well finding this man. I have nothing to worry about, after all. Dad? I have nothing to worry about after all. I, I know, right? Girl, trying to super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. I can see that there's no, there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm headed back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you back, Dad. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. Uh, five pieces of a fluorite? What? Interesting. Whatever the case, I think I'm free from my dad hounding me to his meet of suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes. Well, I have to walk my, my dad to his hotel. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so it doesn't have to worry about you. I'll try. Bye now. Goka, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Huh? Something wrong? Majima Kun, there's one last thing I want to say. Eh? What's that? Majima Kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You were you went through all the bother pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit. No, no, not at all. That's why I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Excuse me? What did you just say? I said, would you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. Whoa, slow down. I I'm having trouble believing my ears. You could start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's this all about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. So, in the next one... I don't know what I'll do in the next one, actually. I mean, I could continue with the main story, but... Yeah, I guess I'll do that. See you guys next time.